Okay, I'm ready for an application of this linear functions. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the understood principle of the creeper rule for dating. I googled it. I looked it up. It must be true. I've seen it everywhere. Imgur? Tumblr? Yes. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the ex socially acceptable dating age. It's supposed to be half your age plus seven. Well, we need to translate that. And how is that going to translate? The, 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 the lower age is going to be equal to the upper age divided by 2 plus 7. Or your age divided by 2 plus 7. <clears throat> this is the creeper rule for dating. Well, okay, let's just say you're a cougar. Like on the TV show? No. I'm talking about you, neighbor. What if you're 42 years of age and you want to find the lowest age that you can possibly date? So then, we're looking for the lower age. But your age is 42, cougar. So then 42, ooh, divided by 2 plus 7. Let's find out what's going to be socially acceptable for you. A little arm candy. Uh-huh. Half of 42 is 21 plus 7. So we're going to find that that piece of man meat on your arm should be no less than 29 years of age. In order for society, now I know I'm going to get some hate mail on this, people, and perhaps we'll do another video on that. But for now, if you're 42 and you're cruising, 29 is your lower limit. Okay, but what if you're like 34 and you're trying to explore the age that you can date? Yes. What if now you are 34 and you're looking for the lower limit on the age that you can possibly date? What am I talking about? That says the upper is going to be 34 divided by 2 plus 7. So then the lower limit on what society deems acceptable is 17 plus 7. So now, what does that mean? That means that you shouldn't date anybody under 24. I know. I was 29 at one time and I was dating a gal who was 25, but she looked like she was 18. And we used to get a lot of looks. I felt a little bit like a creeper, even though I was well within my creeper limits. Is that how you spell creeper? I don't know. There might be an A in it or an extra E in it. Put the proper way to spell creeper below. Speaking about below, what if you are like 19 and you're trying to find the upper age of what you could date? Yes. Now where am I going to put that 19? Am I going to put that in the upper or the lower? Here 19 is the lower and perhaps you're into older people. So now I'm not going to put the 19 where you are. I'm going to put the 19 in the lower limit so that I can find the upper limit. <clears throat> so then I put 19 right there and we're trying to find the upper age of what you could date. So that's the upper divided by 2 plus, mm -mm, not 2. Seven. Looks like I choked out a Smurf. Yes. So now I'm over here. Um, um, uh, um. We're looking for the upper age if you were 19 and you were trying to date somebody older. So then what do you do? You first get rid of that seven. You undo the addition before you undo the division. So then you subtract seven off each side. You subtract seven off each side and you're left with on the left side. 12 and that's you over 2 and then you take it right on up here. Uh -huh. So then I have 12 is equal to you over 2. Now what do you do in order to solve that? What you do on the one side you must also do onto the other. How do I undo the division? A little bit of multiplication and then what you do on one side you must also do onto the other and I multiply both sides by two so they fight and hopefully you don't fight in this far-fetched relationship. You turn out to be 24 sure so what does that mean? If you're 19 you probably shouldn't be dating anybody more than 24 years of age. 
Now that's just what society says, and I understand it happens, but hey, you might get a couple of looks. Thank you.